Allah wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Once again, we're here for the Al Farooq Homeless Project. Here to give back to the needy and those people that need help in society. Alhamdulillah, last week we had a great, fantastic turnout. A lot of people helped, gave us support as well. And mashallah, we gave out a lot of food. One thing that just comes to mind that I really want to mention is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in which the Sahabi radiyallahu an by the name of Abu Shurayh radiyallahu an he asks Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam give us some advice regarding those actions that can guarantee us a place in Jannah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replies with three things. Number one, طيب kalam to speak good words to speak positive, to be positive to the community when you speak to them. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Badlu salam, spread salam, that when you meet one another, say assalamu alaykum. And the key thing, the one that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says at the end, it'aam ta'am, that feed the hungry, feed those people who unfortunately are going to bed with no meal whatsoever. My brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, we are here to act upon this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as we mentioned last week, this state, nobody wants to be in this state, and nobody desires this state. This is something from the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. None of us want to bear this cold. We want to be clothed in nice warm clothing. But like I mentioned, this is a situation that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are here today to give back to the community and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not just by our words, but physically as well, to give back to those people who unfortunately not, uh, who are not in that position, uh, in the position that we are in today. So I request each and every single one of you to make sincere dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects us from this situation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the understanding of those brothers who are currently going through this situation. And again, to make dua to the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He accepts this project and keeps this project running, inshallah. A few words from our brother Shaqeel as well, inshallah. <laughs> From the accursed shaitan. For those people listening and thinking, is this a sequel or a truth haul or the second one? No, this is the second night, hopefully, of many, where Al Farooq Trust, helped by Muslims in need, and helped by the community of Derby, have come forth purely seeking Allah's pleasure. Tomorrow, maybe uh, it's 11th of December today, guys. Tomorrow may be a situation where the so called destiny of the country is being sought and decided. But today, tonight, there are people. Who, the reason why we, we well, I'll be honest with you, when I was preparing to come out today, Globes, this, still feeling about what oh, it's going to be cold. But at least I know that if Allah gave me breath and life, I had a warm masjid to go to Rudisha, jump in my car, and then the motivation to look forward to somewhere warm to go, a warm cup of tea. The thing that kills people, whether it be psychologically or physically because of hypothermia, is the fact that the homeless and those who have nothing have nothing to look forward to. So first and foremost, we ask that Allah keep this good work going. We ask that the Al Farooq Homeless Project continues while there are homeless. And then when the homeless have been eliminated, it helps those people who still need. But we can't provide a solution. However, we can provide steps towards a destination. So may Allah reward our Imam, may Allah reward all those people who've helped and haven't helped but have just given their dua. And there's a young man here, what's your name, Hutton? You gotta speak up. Mehraj. You're not gonna get married with that voice, man. Speak up. <laughs> Mehraj. Mehran. Now, Mehran, correct me if I'm wrong. Your mum has given us some tea and biscuits. Yeah. Okay. What do you think's motivated you guys to come? Uh, Hello, Mashallah, the tea and biscuits are over there, by the way. There's homeless people tea and biscuits. Um, in the world and we're like going to a bed. Hello, night, my friend. Knowing that we yeah, come on through, come, come on through, my pal. Come on through, come on. We've got some nice stuff for you. Come this way. Come this way. And how old are you? Come this way, my pal. Mashallah. 14 years old. So look, not only are we helping those people who need some help, but we're helping ourselves. Why? Because today, Merhan can go and say there was this fat guy with a beard. That's Molana. And then there was a, another guy with a, with a really nice looking beard. And there we're setting examples for those people who will be our leaders tomorrow. So long and short of it is this, 
Support Al Farooq Homeless Project. Support us in this good deed. And uh, same thing. How are you doing, Mr. P? Same thing. MashaAllah, Brother Shaquille has said the words. And just to wrap this up once again, and I said this last week as well, we need your help for this project in whatever way, shape, or form this is. It could be you making dua for the project, it could be you helping the project financially, donating, whatever this may be. The key thing is getting involved and making a real change in society. However this may be, you could be the, the, the catalyst to bring a huge change into this community. And we want to show this to the community as well, that we as Muslims from Masjid al Farooq we have a positive role in society, that we as Muslims, we can coexist, we can come together and help the community in whatever shape or form it is. And currently at the moment, it is with this homeless project. Again, once again, everybody's requested to make sincere dua. Jazakallah khayr, fassalamullahi alayhi. Quick one, first of all, I want to thank the people that have donated the food today. Mashallah, we had Brother Bilal donating the food. We've got Korean rice, nice succulent curry from one of the people that took the, uh, took, took the food. He was very thankful and he said, Mashallah, the, uh, the food was very tasty. Mashallah, we've got bottled water once again. The food's nearly gone. And we've got tea and biscuits again, Mashallah, that's been donated by a, a very generous sister, Alhamdulillah. The mother, um, the mother of that young man, Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alaikum wa Mashallah, we've been here for around about 40 to 45 minutes and Mashallah, everything's gone. We just got through the yeah. shakil hunting out to yeah. serve the tea. But apart from that, mashallah, everything's yeah. gone. All the food that was donated by Brother Bilal, alhamdulillah, all, all of it's been finished. Like I said last week, we just need your help in any way, shape or form. Dua, financially, supporting this project, however it may be, we just need your support. Once again, jazakallah khayr.